Hello dear friends and welcome to my kitchen where I create and share simple low carb and keto meals and today we are making pie. Just look at this crust and how airy this dough is after the baking. The pie is also incredibly easy to make. So let's start. I'm using two cans of red salmon, 175 grams of fish. Any canned fish will be fine. Just make sure it is either in brine, water or olive oil. You don't want to add extra carbohydrates to your dish. Open cans, drain liquid from them, put fish into the small bowl and break large chunks of fish into the small pieces. It is better to use fork for this instead of the blender. You still want to have that texture in the pie. Put the mixing bowl aside and let's start on the dough. Break four medium eggs into a different mixing bowl and start adding full fat mayonnaise, full tablespoons. If you want to measure it on scales, that would be 70 grams. Next, add half a teaspoon of soda to the dough and full teaspoon of cider vinegar to start on the chemical reaction. You can see how soda reacts to acidic vinegar straight away. And finally, we're adding last ingredient, almond flour. Add four full tablespoons into your mixing bowl if you want to measure on scales, this will be 40 grams. Mix all ingredients together until they're well combined. You don't need mixer for that, it only takes few minutes. Put the bowl aside and get your baking pan ready. I'm using silicone dish 23 cm in diameter and I'm also using additional oven tray for stability. Use chirk 1 tablespoon of olive oil and grease your form. Transfer fish flakes and distribute them evenly. Pour over the pie butter, making sure it travels to all directions and all sides. You can shake baking dish to help cover all areas. Bake pie in preheated oven at 180 degrees for 30 minutes and check it with the wooden stick. It should come out clear. Carefully transfer pie to the serving plate. Remember it is still hot. I prefer to remove pie from baking pan using two plates. If you want to do the same, just make sure you're wearing oven gloves and there's no liquid left in the baking dish. The pie is better served hot, but don't worry, it stores well in the fridge for up for four days and you can reheat it in microwave. Just look at this beautiful texture and this air in the dough. Simply delicious. Give it a thumb up and until the next time.